so the 50 kilometer race I was supposed to be doing tomorrow has been postponed so I'm heading out on the Saturday to do a double up run and ideal opportunity to take the Hasix Nova Blast 2 for a bit of a test run their first run so let's see how they go I don't know why I waited so long to buy another pair of the ASICS Nova Blasts, but first run in the Nova Blast 2s, and I've got to say, as good, if not better, than running in the first version. You might remember that I was a big fan of the Nova Blasts uh, when they first came out. I had the orange pair, that bright orange pair, that Tokyo edition. Uh, absolutely loved those. I think I've got almost a thousand kilometers in them. Bought another pair, uh, it was a black pair, same deal, nearly a thousand kilometres in them. First run in these, just under 12 kilometres, around about a five minute per kilometre average. And just going to go through my first impressions of these shoes now. Break it up into a couple of categories, guys uh, fit, comfort, and my overview. I'll also put the specifications of the shoes along the bottom here as we go through the video. Well, let's talk about the fit first. I went true to size, US 11 and a half. Now the weight of these is about 307, 308 grams. Uh, conversion into ounces here on screen. Fit, perfect, straight in, comfortable, nice, lightweight, breathable upper. This shoe is a real workhorse. I'm going to use this shoe more as a long run shoe uh, leading up to UTA 100 in the middle of the year. It's just a really nice shoe to run in. It really does promote you through your gait too. It does encourage you to run a little bit quicker than probably what you plan to. The comfort, the ride, really good. No issues whatsoever. Didn't have even a hot spot underneath my foot like I normally get with new shoes. Jack of all trades a shoe. Recovery, easy days, middle runs, long runs. You can do speed work in it. Yes, it's a little bit heavy, but I don't see that as being a bad thing for training. Like when you come to race day, you put on your race day shoes and you know it feels like you've got nothing but wings on your feet. It's a really good shoe for whatever you really want to throw at it. And I can't see it not getting to another thousand kilometers like I did in the first versions. Like I said, I'll use this now for my long runs leading up to UTA uh, on the roads. Don't think I would attempt to take it on the trails. Not with an outsole like that, no. Gravel roads, no problem at all. For me, this is gonna be a workhorse. It's gonna be those long runs. I believe there is a Nova Blast 3 coming out, so I don't see a lot of difference from one to two. If you're looking for a shoe that might be on special when version three does hit the shelves, then, you know, version 2 I don't think you can go wrong. Now I must say too that the first two pairs that I did have of these shoes I passed them on to my son he's been running in them as well so God knows how many k's the shoes have gone on them now. You know they're probably approaching you know 13 or 1400 kilometers and I know that he still uses them so it's a solid shoe. Guys have you got the Asics Nova Blast 2? If you do let me know in the comments what you think of the shoe. Alright guys if you've made it all the way through to this point in the video I really do appreciate you watching. Make sure that if you have enjoyed this video that you give it a thumbs up and if you do make a comment on the video would really appreciate that too because likes and comments do help the channel to grow. That's it for the Asics Nova Blast 2. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you sometime real soon. Until then, run free, run happy.